Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you people how to install the Flutter SDK on your Linux devices step by step. So uh, apart from this, in this video I'm going to show you how to resolve errors such as the Android SDK error. Uh, in, uh, that is, you have saved the SDK in some, in some custom location and the Android home path is to be set to that location. And another error is Android licenses error. If you get any of these errors, this will be resolved by following the steps. So let's jump to the tutorial. What you got to do is you uh, you need to go to the flutter.dev website and click on this button over in the top right corner which says get started. You would be directed to a page, this one uh, and it has got, uh, it gives you three options Windows, Mac and Linux. You click over Linux and then you are directed to another page which shows all the system requirements and steps to install the flutter sdk so in order to install flutter sdk you gotta download it first so in order to download the flutter sdk what you gotta do is click on this one i'm not gonna download it because i have got it downloaded already in my system and there's another thing you need to down download and it's android studio when you click on this link android studio you will be directed to another page uh, this one correct so when you down uh, cl click on this button over here download android studio you get this dialog box kind of thing and you can check this and you can download android studio both the files will be downloaded as zip files and i've got both both of them downloaded so i won't be downloading so once you have downloaded both the files, extract them and save them at a location. And for me, that's over here. I've got, I've extracted both of them. These were the downloaded files and I've saved them over here in the development folder. This one and this one. Now, next step we need to do is exporting the path so how do you export the path and what does that means so that means that you need to send uh, set the path variable as uh, just a second where's my yeah over here path variable to the bin library inside the flutter folder like uh, i've got i extracted the flutter sdk over here i go inside it i see a bin directory I'm sorry if I said bin library, I meant bin directory, yeah, bin directory. So you can get the path to bin directory like this open in terminal and pwd and copy this whole path. Now after copying this thing, all you got to do is go to the bash rc file, bash rc file in your home directory. Uh, and if you cannot see all these files in your home directory just the thing let me maximize it yeah if you can't see all these files in your home directory then what you need to do is click on this button and select show hidden files yeah and now most probably you'll find a dot bash rc file over here if not then don't worry create a new one and what you got to do is write this command you won't get all these file lines over here these file lines won't be there you have to write them so it's export path equals to uh, double uh, double quotes open dollar path uh, colon and then the path we just copied from the terminal this one this one and then double quotes closed so and how to write, write these fours now you'll be thinking so for that what you need to do is uh, go to development and you need to open android studio so how to run android studio you won't be getting a desktop entry like this like this one so in order to run android studio what you gotta do is go to android studio go to bin directory and open in terminal and we we need to run this file studio.sh so in order to run this file dot slash studio dot sh so this will run the android studio yeah 
and it's loading so it won't open the same way for both of us because uh, first you need to install the SDK and it's pretty simple just click finish 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 uh, I mean next next finish and uh, just go with the standard installation and then you will be asked to just a second let me close it I'll show you uh, when you finish the installation for Android Studio you will get a dialog box like this like this okay but you won't be having configure or get help if you have then perfect if you don't have the, these options over here then then restart the Android Studio then you will directly come to this page but you won't be having this option start a flutter project and then go to configure plugins and click uh, and search flutter so I have got flutter installed on my system so for me it's installed but for you it would be same as it's for this thing flutter json bean factory install so to install it click on flutter and here you would be getting an install button click on the install button so yeah that's it that, that uh, and also it will ask you to install the dart file and uh, sorry dart extension so click ok on that and also install the dart extension so now you i can click ok and uh, yeah after that installed if you want to create a desktop entry i'll explain it to you in the end and let me close it for now yeah so now what we gotta do we have got da uh, flutter installed on our android studio and we have got our sdk so while when you will uh, when you will be downloading the S uh, android sdk when you'll be installing the android studio then it will ask you to download android sdk in some location so please keep that location in mind where you have, where, where you have kept it and for me it's over here so please open this android sdk and please check if you have all these folders uh, for me i didn't had this one uh, where is it tools so if you don't have tools you can directly go to uh, android studio web page uh, where is it over here and what do you want to do is go to the end of the web page and you get an option of command line tools you gotta to download it for linux so i have it over here in downloads uh, sorry not here uh, downloads uh, these one so i uh, uh, it has got tools folder so i extracted the tools folder and i pasted it in my sdk over here so after that what you gotta do uh, after that when you have installed the android sdk and the uh, flutter sdk and android studio now you set the uh, now you got to set the path for android home so to set the path for android home what you gotta do is write this command write this command so it's export android home equals to and where to get this location let me show you you gotta go to android uh, let's suppose you have saved the sdk somewhere open the sdk and open in terminal and type pwd you will get the location which you need to paste over there it's the same location okay and then what you gotta do uh, then what you, you gotta uh, save the uh, I mean you gotta set the path for Android tools and for Android tools uh, it's the same location as Android SDK plus slash tools and for Android platform tools it's Android SDK plus slash platform tools and then write this command and save the file and run flutter doctor 
so this will check if our all if our SDK is correctly installed so we have we have got one tick yeah we have got all these three ticks that means our SDK is properly installed congratulations and uh, now in case you wanna make a desktop entry for Android Studio what you gotta do is open it Android Studio by the same way I told you earlier and mm -hmm. once it opens start a new flutter project let's suppose we start uh, flutter sd flutter app okay uh, it's asking me for the sdk path i'll give it just a second uh, where's my sdk in downloads development flutter okay um, so yeah now finish and it will create a flutter project uh, let's give it some time to create it no oh, man it's taking a lot of time huh? I'll pause it for a while yeah so my Android Studio has started now you can see a tools option over here click on it and uh, you will see a create desktop entry option so click on it you will get this dialog, dialog box press ok and yeah you will also get uh, you may now exit studio started from the system menu that means your desktop entry option has been created so let me close the project yeah so that's it thank you for watching the video and if you liked it and if you think it was helpful please like the video and subscribe the channel